Okay, let's make this a quick video about CDI and ignition timing, etc. This right here is a graph showing uh, combustion pressure, the resultant force on the crank, the rotational force, the squish velocity, and right here this vertical line is top dead center. So this is before top dead center, and this is after top dead center. So the idea here is that um, the timing has to be right for that peak pressure to happen between 10 and 15 degrees after top dead center. And that is also dependent upon the squish velocity. The higher the velocity, the more rapid the, the uh, climb and that uh, combustion pressure as a result of uh, increased flame speed. So what we're trying to figure out, uh, understand, is, is that, that timing between ignition and peak pressure. This is typical uh, timing graphs. This right here is top dead center and all above it is um, degrees before top dead center. This right here being uh, almost 25 degrees. So we've got this, uh, this CDI from uh, RM250 which, uh, which changes according to the throttle setting. We've got this black one from a KDX 200, and this red one is a, a replacement CDI for the KDX, which is higher performance because it's less advanced at the high RPM. So as you can see, it's 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 common uh, to be almost no advance around uh, at, at kickstart. RPM, so you don't have any uh, any kickback, and then it advances up to maximum about midway RPM, and then it goes more and more retarded. These are also two um, compression graphs. I think the skinnier one would be more more typical of a race engine. So this is um, pretty much the same as this red graph right here. And this right here is its, its time chart from ignition to 12 degrees after top dead center. That being the, the, the target for the peak uh, combustion pressure. So why did I graph this? I just want to get an idea of what what is typical, okay? And um, this right here, it also relates to the same curve that this one's showing, which is the time from top dead center to exhaust opening, okay? With the way this this uh, the horizontal uh, part is scaled, that curve is is normal and natural. So you can see it it, it basically has the same curve. Okay, so what happens when you use uh, an old time fixed timing ignition? No ignition curve whatsoever. It, it fires at a certain degrees before top dead center, no matter what the RPM is. Okay, that gives us the red graph out here. It's a little bit uh, longer time and a little bit shorter time here and uh, significantly off at the, uh, the, tarp, the top RPM. So I did the, uh, this analysis, figuring out the, the time and charting it out and everything, just trying to understand the difference between the, the old fashioned uh, set ignition and the more modern uh, CDI ignition that has a timing curve. And 
looking at the difference between these two curves out here, I would say the advantage, there's a, a definite significant advantage to the modern CDI curve because it, it, uh, it, it its curvature is uh, similar or almost exactly the same as the curvature from TDC to exhaust opening. And you get a variation of that with a with the fixed ignition. Not to say that it's no good. It's just the CDI is better. Okay. So, especially if you're you take a uh, a normal street bike or enduro bike, and, and it's got a set timing ignition, and you want to soup it up to get higher RPMs. You got to understand that that something like 15 degrees is like just a general setting that's not too bad up to about 10,000 RPM. But as you go higher in RPM, you're going to have to bring this down so that this difference right here is not too much. It doesn't look like a lot of difference, but actually it's, it's significant. This right here shows a, um, an adjustable CDI. Depending upon what your your max RPM is, you can you can set the uh, the curvature that it's mostly uh, affects that top RPM. And really, there's just not that much to it. Um, CDIs are good. They're better than fixed ignition. And uh, the more you can uh, play with this this setting at at high RPM, the more you can tune it in to the bike because uh, the, this um, this whole pressure curve right here it, you, you want to fit that within the space between uh, TDC and exhaust opening the, the better that's fitted within that space the more power you're going to get you, you shift this all too much to the right, and you're losing too much out the exhaust port. You shift to the left, and you get too much um, too much pressure that the engine has to fight before TDC. So the, the timing is very important, as well as the squish velocity affecting this portion of it, and the squish volume affecting this portion of it. The squish volume. Uh, pretty much affects the rate at which this declines here. Okay, my friends, that's about all I have to share. No great giant revelation, but a little bit of insight into uh, timing curves and how they relate to the engine and the, uh, the combustion pressure. Thanks for watching.